Okay, hello dear friends, good afternoon, such a beautiful, beautiful afternoon. So I have some pork and um, that's around how many pounds? Three pounds. So what do I do with it? Every time I buy a lot of uh, um, meat at one shot and cook them so that it will be good for the whole week. So cut some onion, does not have to be pretty, it will be smashed, it will be uh, quite uh, uh, lost its shape after cooking, so do not worry. I do not put um, cooking oil for now. You know, if you put cooking oil, it definitely has a better flavor but the problem with cooking oil is that uh, the problem with cooking oil it splash a lot if you put very hot cooking oil it will splash and that if you are a professional chef you have a team of cleaners lucky for you but uh, we are family cooking. Hello. We do not have such a strong team. So what we do, we try to avoid, hello, any of this splash. So salt and pepper and onion and cooking oil. Put some more cooking oil, it's good, it's more delicious. Now you can turn the fire stronger a little bit. And I will put the meat in. And that is it. Some salt, pepper, and then if you have ginger, put some ginger. If you have, uh, if you love garlic, put garlic. Put every other spice you like. I do not like too much spice, and I think this is good enough. And also, I need to be polite. Hello, Nassim. Hello, Nassim. Just to say hello. And uh, let it cook a little bit. And then put other spice. What do I put? I will put soya sauce and cooking wine and sugar and um, so this cooking does not need so much of uh, our job this is um, served as a meat sauce a starter later on when i do cooking i will not need to put any salt pepper maybe some pepper but not so much salt and uh, no, not so much spice and this one together with uh, together with the, the vegetable 
it saves my week. Now I have more time because we stay at home. And uh, usually when I walk, I do this way because this way I come back home, a spoonful of this cooked meat with a bowl of vegetable, I am done. Very easy. So you can put uh, this one, soya sauce, and uh, <clears throat> the flavor, there are some basic flavors sweet, sour, sun tian ku la, sour, you can put vinegar, and I can put, instead of vinegar, I put my yogurt, yogurt whey, salt, sweet, sour, so I need some sugar, sweetness, and the bitterness bitterness for this one maybe we will not need so much but if you put some mudar mustard uh, wasabi it can bring some interesting flavor and the cooking wine The rest is not so much our business. You can put some spice and uh, sometimes in Chinese restaurant or Chinese uh, uh, grocery store. I went to a Chinese grocery store near my home. So I bought some Chinese chili pepper sauce and you can Use Tabasco if that is handy. Put some all the flavors put in and let it cook. And there is nothing you need to do because uh, the food will you will just let the flavor comes out slowly. Some friends asking, Han Yin, do you do cooking? Where did you learn cooking? I, not I just uh, cook it every day and that is it. So I bought this one. I will not put it here so that I keep the integrity of it. You can put some spice sauce such as such as shirasa. I will just put a little bit. because when I cook, I can put different other flavors in it. So let it cool. Put slower fire. Let it work its way out for half an hour, one hour, two hours, however, long it will take. Now I clean up my board. And use the other side. To do something uh, for the summer. Okay, that one we will keep on cooking, not very much we need to do. So this one, I will do some pickles. and cucumber 
Okay, I will stop it here so that uh, you are more prepared to see what I'm doing. Okay. Okay, first let's take a look at our meat. We turn the fire even slower. Just let it cook. The longer it cook, the, the more flavor it comes out. This is not a, a, a big five-star restaurant food. They do not look so pretty, but um, it's relatively easy. Okay, so here I am doing some pickling. First, the vegetables. I need to salt it, to put salt in it, so I will just cook some. This is too big, we can take it out. Okay, this one I will use it to cook for other things and another layer of it. Put some salt. Good. We'll do a big again. Let's take a look at our meat. It's been something like uh, one hour almost. And uh, just leave it like this. Use the slowest fire. You know, when we cook, and um, when we cook with strong fire, everything becomes tightened up, becomes stressed. So when we cook meat with strong fire, the, 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 the meat becomes quite uh, uh, rubbery and hard to eat. So this is why when we cook steak, filet mignon, or good New York steak, good steak, we uh, do it one side, flip over the other side, and then done with it. So that there's not too much the heat, the stress into the meat, it is tender. There are two ways to get tender meat. Either psh, splash, big heat, very thick plate, very thick plate, and get meat on it, and uh, let the meat absorb all the heat from the, from the, the plate. This is why sometimes we use uh, pot with um, cast iron, heavy metal, because it keeps the heat and it keeps a consistent 
um, just consistent uh, power, a lot of power in it. And uh, another way to cook a tender meat, a cheap meat, make it tender, is to cook in slow fire for a long time. In my family, I am the cheap meat, long time cooking one. I do not buy expensive meat because I don't know how to cook. I am from a, 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 a tradition that do not eat expensive food, expensive meat. So everything we cook, cook long time. And that's the way we put in the flavor. Usually you eat more of the spice instead of the meat itself because, uh, because it's less expensive. A good meat puts salt, pepper, not too much other things. And um, not so good meat, you put spice. Anyway, come back to this one. Uh, this one is quite inexpensive meat. And at the beginning, I used strong fire. Now, I will use slow fire to let it loosen up. So uh, if you use strong fire, it, you can cook it through, but uh, the meat is quite uh, stressed and, and not uh, tender. So let's keep it on for another half an hour or one hour. That's uh, the way I do the cooking. Okay, now let's take a look at this one. So I did um, the cabbage. And then the second layer, I put uh, celery, and the third layer, I put carrot, and then I put uh, cucumber. And uh, while I cut, I tell story and things, and then I just realized I didn't... Uh, 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 I didn't press the, the recording button. Anyway, so this is around one hour. The moisture from, from the vegetable, some has more moisture, some has less. See, cucumber is very moisturous, has a lot of water in it, so it becomes very tender and it becomes rubbly. Uh, wobbly, the shape is already uh, not uh, crispy and uh, this uh, uh, carrot is uh, relatively dense so it's not yet changed so much shape so I will put it uh, a bit longer time you can shake it so the salt goes everywhere and uh, put it uh, overnight or something uh, or a few more time uh, this one is kind of an instant pickle what I do I put it in salt overnight take it out rinse the salt out so this time the vegetable is taking a lot of uh, the salt the inconsistency equilibrium it needs to reach an equilibrium and uh, in salt there is a lot of salt in vegetable there is a lot of water so they need to interfere each other they need to go into each other to reach equilibrium so they are trying to do it and water from the vegetable is coming out right and this time the vegetable is salty and it has less water. Wash it out, you put in the flavor. Then the vegetable does not have, a, um, is missing water, it needs water. This time you put uh, vinegar, you put uh, uh, sugar, any flavor, it goes into it to reach to its ideal, its comfortable, um, hydrated state. So that's the flavor exchange. This is a way to get the flavor from the water, get the, 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 the water from the vegetable, extract the water and then refill with flavor. That's the chemist, 
chemistry that's the physics behind it and um, so instead of putting water later on i think a few hours later later on i will show you how i do it so here is what i do this i have done two days ago and i almost finished it so you can see it's a little bit yellowish and the vegetable goes to vinegar becomes yellow so when you see it is becomes yellowish just this kind of acid old color you know it's starting to be to be fermented and this is not a, a, a full fermentation there is not very much happening there i use my vinegar not a vinegar my vinegar. I, my vinegar. I actually use my uh, yogurt water. This is why this is um, the very mild acid from the milk. And I use this pour into the washed vegetable. This one is washed. And then put this one in, put this way w h e y this way in and uh, you can put some pepper and i put some chili pepper you can put uh, uh, garlic onion anything else i do not want i want to put some pepper and that's it you can put a uh, pepper sauce or all this i feel this one is is good and um, this one, the cucumber, is with skin. I like it without skin. So you can see, yeah, it's like this. And uh, a little bit of sugar of it. So it has a sweet and sour, uh, better flavor. So that's about it. I have already finished it. It's extremely hot these couple of days. So I took out this, um, uh, this, uh, um, and ate majority of them and I have not yet totally finished so I just want to show you how it is and it's very very um, refreshing to eat so that's about it so let's take a look at our meat and you can just keep on cooking like it and no need to worry too much about it so I use slowest fire to cook it. And later on when I do vegetable, I will take one spoon of this with vegetable. Well, maybe we can start to do it. Okay, here is the story of uh, cutting <laughs> vegetables. I like cutting vegetables. Let me put this one into not so much into refrigerator. Okay. So here I will cut some. Karen love cutting vegetables. And I receive. I remember some time ago. Carrot is very hard to cut because it's uh, it's so dense. Just for the purpose of cosmetic, it's not about the flavor. Okay, they look good, right? Okay. Okay, C 
see the fire very very strong okay hello dear friends now we will cook some vegetables and i put some uh, carrot you can put uh, onion or other things a little bit of it and time to say hello hello bye bye hello Nothing, okay? Promise you, there's nothing. Nothing, promise you, there's nothing. I just came here to say hello. Oh, sorry, you must be having a hard time to, to listen to what I talk. And uh, it's also not so important. So, we cover it. Oh, this is a pepper. This is a pepper. This That's it. Five minutes later, we will be good for this one. I will not. Uh, I will not cut this video. We will do it live. Okay. So we can chat. Let me tell you a story. I love cooking, and I love to see people, professional chef cooking. And I received. There was one time. I saw on a TV, on YouTube or something, a story about Gordon Ramsay. Gordon Ramsay, his character is uh, another story. But anyway, oh, oh, this one. So there was one time, so there was one time Gordon Ramsay went to, I think, into a prison or something and uh, he met one guy one of these guy used to be working for a restaurant and uh, he said if you cut onions faster than me later on when you get out i give you a job and then um, gordon ramsay cut the onion and that uh, person the prisoner also cut the onion the guy was in jail dun, 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 dun. And after some time, this guy was just standing there looking at Gordon Ramsay. Gordon Ramsay was very proud. Gosh, look at me cutting onion. Ding, 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 ding. And Gordon Ramsay raised his head and looked at that guy. What are you doing here? That guy already finished and Gordon Ramsay was on half or, half or more than half of it. So he was really impressed, Gordon Ramsay. And he said, when you are out of here, I will give you a job. If you have, if you look for a job, come to my restaurant. After a few years, this time, this guy has finished his term uh, in the prison, and then he went to. He he was looking for a job. He went to Gordon Ramsay, and he got a job from his restaurant. It's quite a story. Anyway. I love anybody who can cut vegetable beautifully, cut anything. Cutting is such a, it's like a, an art. And you see some influencers and making beautiful picture with foam, with this and that, and could not even cut vegetable. I just could not even cut it. 
just to make me very, very happy. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. I like a good cutting vegetable. Look at it. I didn't have it. That's it. So easy and simple. And this carrot does not have very much flavor. It is here for cosmetic because you have green and with a little bit of a carrot, good looking, doesn't hurt, right? And that's it. So it totally takes something like five minutes. Look at it. How beautiful. Thank you. The, the, it, cooking could be just this simple. Turn off the fire for this one, and we are done with this one. Maybe put the fan a little bit so it absorbs the, the, the air so you can see it clearly. And the meat you can keep on cooking or not, or not to cook, your choice. Since I am here, has put a very, very strong fire. Just to leave it here and later on put into a container. Later I will take, put into this container. I will put into this container for the for the week to use and we are coming to our back to school so um, although we can choose to walk from home or walk uh, uh, at school um, even at school we, we do distance learning uh, whatever way you just start to be busier prepare things so have some of these kind of uh, easy things ready anytime you need put a spoonful voila quel délicieux n'est-ce pas j'adore ça oh là là la couleur un petit peu de orange et le vert oh là là c'est super et le goût magnifique ok Bye bye friends, I love you, I really do. Do, 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 do. Okay, hello dear friends, after one hour, let's take a look. It isn't uh, take so long time, it's just one hour. Let me taste. It's very, very salty. It's even bitterly salty. You can keep this salt if you like or discard it. I think it's a good uh, flavor for salt. So I will keep this salt and instead of using salt, it's good salt. Instead of using um, salt, I will just use this uh, for my other cooking. Take it out. And we will clean it. I will clean it in water and totally rinse it. How do I do it? That's enough salt for us. Okay. I will put completely here. I will raise it. Just rinse it, not to be too, 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 too uh, strict on it. Just rinse a little bit, that is good. 
If there is still some water, it's not the end of the world. Put this one in. This I will not put it back in. And my chili pepper. Because it's complete, it almost have no uh, flavor coming out. I didn't taste any of it so far. And uh, I would like to put some sugar to make it more. One or two tablespoons of sugar. Leave it there. Whenever you want to eat, take out some. And uh, in a hot summer day, I think uh, you can eat it right away. It just uh, not yet so much develop the flavor, but there is nothing wrong with it. There is. Uh, there is no raw stuff, there is not uh, anything dangerous. It's not become totally fermented with mold and things. No, it's just, yeah, that's it. I will put into refrigerator today, tomorrow or sometime. When it is hot, when I want to eat something fresh, it goes with, um, with anything, right? Thank you very, very much. Isn't it simple? There might be some friends asking if you do not have this uh, uh, way. Maybe you can put uh, water plus vinegar. You just need something acidic or even lemon, right? Bye-bye, friends. I love you. I really do. Do-do-do-do. Do-do-do. Bye-bye.